Hey guys, so um, today is a pretty exciting day and I thought I'd uh, vlog it a little bit. That's kind of cliche, but whatever, I don't care. So we're going to MTAC Convention Center. Um, I'm going to play Not um, Balad by Sam and Barber there. And then after that, and that's in LA by the way, Garden Grove. And then after that we're going to Horn Guys, which is up in LA again. <clears throat> and after that I'm meeting with a friend um, and we're going to the Night Market. Um, 626 Night Market vendors got this all, a ton of awesome Asian food. We're going there, and then after that, we're going to see a DCI show in the Rose Bowl and coming home. And so that's going to be a super fun day. Totally not a normal day for me, but um, really looking forward to it. We're here. That's where convention is. Hey guys, so we're here um, at the convention center. Um, just a couple thoughts about driving. So I was thinking about this earlier. Um, but the more you drive, I think the more comfortable you get. And the more comfortable you get, the more aware you have to be of, like, kind of like spacing out while driving, you know? And that's something that happens to me a lot. So just be like really vigilant, especially when you're doing like hour long driving, or even like driving when, just driving in general. But really, really vigilant to be like focused, like when you're there and present. And that, I just, that's, I was just thinking about that as I was driving up. So super stoked that we're here. Um, I have to pay for parking, which I didn't think about, so that's kind of a bummer, but, um, we'll make it work, so yeah. See you guys inside. So I'm about to start warming up right over there. So I um, thought I'd talk a little bit about performance anxiety and uh, nerves. So this is just what helps me um, just like focus and dig in. So, and like obviously you have to practice. And when you, when you practice, like really what I think that gives you is that gives you confidence in your abilities to perform in front of other people. Because you know, once start, nerves start, like things kind of start going differently than how you practice. But like if you really practice it good and diligently, um, they should be good. So obviously practice beforehand, but when you're doing performance, what I like to do is um, really just like focus on like calming yourself. And instead of thinking about being nervous for it, think about being excited to perform. And it's like, it seems kind of counterintuitive, but it's almost being nervous and being excited is almost like, they're almost like the same feeling. So if you just like change your mindset about it and you like make the choice, you're like, no, I'm going to be excited about this performance. It really goes a long way to help with like any performance anxiety or nervousness. And then, so, and then lastly, what I think is think about like what you're trying to convey to the audience. So if you start going like super detail focused and you think about like, oh shoot, I have to do this, this, and this, and this, um, it could work, but most of the time I think it's better to focus on like the big picture and like, what are you trying to convey to your audience through the music that you're playing and not just like, oh, I need to play forte here, and I need to get this run perfect. Don't focus on like the technical aspect. Think about like the emotional content you're trying to convey to people. And then the, the, um, usually then the music will go a lot better. So that's kind of what works for me. Um, tell me what works for you guys. Don't have the program. Hey boys, we're here. Uh, Did you get a program? Just finished performing. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Did pretty well. Um, definitely messed up some technique things, but Set the mood really good, I think. Okay, low key kind of shook. I don't know if you can see it super well, but the music, it's, it's about butterflies, and the notes look like butterflies. That's insane! So creative! Hey guys, so just finished up with convention and um, now I'm going to be heading over to Horn Guys. So um, it's about an hour's trip. We're in like the bottom part of LA and we're going up to the higher part of LA near the Los Angeles mountains. So um, just had some shower thoughts. <laughs> so I have a lot of those by the way. So I was thinking about like um, nervousness versus like excitement again. So that's kind of like the same thing that I was talking about at um, convention. And I was thinking about like um, today where I was like, I was going out by myself, by the way. Here's my car. 
all the stuff in it, all that. So and I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, I could either think of this as like, cause I was kind of nervous about driving here and I thought I missed my exit and I was like, oh my gosh, not again. That's happened before by the way. And um, so, but I was thinking about it as like, you know what, I think I'm gonna like think of this as an adventure and it's a lot more fun and exciting that way. And I think it's just really cool. People probably think I'm pretty weird, but um, I think it's really cool when you think of it as like an adventure and like a new experience as opposed to just like getting nervous about all of the like potential troubles that could come. Because if you're thinking about it as an adventure, when the troubles come, it's a lot easier to overcome them anyway. So kind of just some food for thought right there. And um, see you guys at Horn Guys. So we're up here going to Horn Guys now. Um, it's really beautiful today. It's a nice street too. So hopefully I can get stuff in before they close and it'll be uh, fruitful. So fat shout out to Starbucks because they gave me a free water and they were really nice about it even though I felt like an absolute jerk doing it. And shout out to Josh, Josh B for giving me this mouthpiece to use. So thanks man. Done with, done with horn guys basically. So um, kind of what I thought was they had Bach 42s and then they had a Yamaha Zeno. And the Bach 42s were like all right, but especially the like normal one, it was BO4F, I forget what, <laughs> brass, I don't know. <laughs> but um, the Yamaha sounded really, really good. It sounded like a lot more robust than what I was doing, but it's just like, oh my gosh, it sounded really good. So I think I might get Zeno. We'll see. I'm, I want to try out a con and see how that shapes up to the other guys, but Yamaha looks pretty good. And now we're going to the night market. That's going to be so fun. I'm looking forward to this. But we have a little bit of time because it's like a 20 minute drive. And I got like, what is that? I got 50 minutes to get there before Irvin and Okar, before it even starts actually. So we're going to chill. We're going to chill. And um, I think we're going to chill at the park though. So I'll see you guys there. Shout out to the folks selling lemonade. You guys are awesome. So we're up in here at the night market. Looks pretty sick. I'm looking forward to it. Okar's in there somewhere. I don't know where you are, Okar, but we'll find you. So we're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna eat so much good food. Pretty good. It was a good experience. It was fun with Okar and Urban. So we're heading to the mall and then we're gonna head over to the Rose Bowl. Hopefully I can catch a gold before they uh it'll hopefully they'll let me in. So yeah. Marching band, drum corps. Not a marching band, it's a drum corps. <laughs> <Finesse gobble. laughs> Can I say finesse? Your boys just got in for free parking. <laughs> So I know SCV this year is like their drum line's like yeah. Have you been keeping up on any of this? Like how it's doing? Yeah, a little bit. I literally thought I was doing heavy. But it was still like okay, so I dipped it and I pulled it. Oh it's happening! It's happening! Yeet! Yeah, he's in college. Here at the Rose Bowl. Pretty good. 
<laughs> pretty sick so far. I'm not sure who's next. Uh, it's pretty lit. Okay, so we're done. I think I see V1. It's sick. It was awesome. It was so cool. Traveling montage. And we are back home. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I think that's the first time I've driven to LA by myself. I think I was driving for like five hours. We're back and it only... Can you see that? No, you can't. 12.21. Not too bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me. Um, I might do one of these again if I go on some sort of adventure, like today really was, so, um, yeah, comment, subscribe, do whatever, watch another video about trombones or something, I don't know, so, um, yeah, enjoy summer, guys, see ya!